we're back. It's, uh, it's January 30th. It's a Wednesday. Um, you obviously can tell my hair is short. Um, I started the, uh, the chemotherapy again. Uh, I actually just came from, uh, from my second round of infusions. Um, it's gone really well. It's gone really well. Um, the first round of it, uh, um, I was nauseous, slightly nauseous, and for a couple of days, but uh, nowhere near like what it was before. My appetite's still there. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm actually eating second servings, um, which is great. Which is a really I, the, the biggest issue around doing chemotherapy. If you lose your hunger, you're not you stop eating, and after you stop eating, it's your body just kind of goes downhill after that. Um, you lack the energy and you just don't function well. Um, but that's been just the opposite of my experience. Um, I have been a little more tired, uh, but uh, um, even still, it's, it's been a lot better than what it was before. Um, I take a little more, a few more naps. Um, uh, but when I wake up from the naps, I'm energized, which is just different, which is great. Um, but um, today I had a really great experience I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I've actually been receiving, uh, taking some spiritual counseling, and and um, and I've also uh, Gabriel and I have been doing the Course in Miracles every day, which is really just a real cornerstone of my own spiritual path. Um, and today, the lesson was, um, God is in everything I see, because God is in my mind. And I set an alarm on my clock to remind me every half hour, God is in everything I see, because God is in my mind. And, um, I, I received my lab work today from uh, from Monday it's my most recent uh, blood work and uh, throughout this experience we've been watching what's called my creatinine levels um, healthy uh, kidneys produce about a one creatinine level um, for months I've been having a fairly consistent seven and a half reading in my creatinine levels. Um, and we've just kind of been holding it and saying, we're seeing a one, we're seeing a one. And I got my lab work and it was over eight on Monday. And uh, it just hit heavy. It hit really heavy. Um, and I was staring into that paper, experiencing just the upset around them. Around acknowledging that these numbers are indicating a worsening kidney situation. Um, and uh, just as I was staring at that paper, my alarm went off and it said, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. And it just kind of brought me back. And the truth is, I was reading a number. And I don't even know what it means. I've been told what it means. I think I know what it means. But I don't know what it means. But, um, so it just brought me back. It brought me back, and, um, 
that space of clarity is is it it's completely it I am uh, I've also been conscious of uh, in that moment I kind of also became conscious of, of of kind of a realization that came in some of my spiritual um, counseling and I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of of how important it is for me to know who I'm being in the midst of everything. Whether my kidneys are working, whether they're not, whether I'm getting good medical news or whether I'm getting seemingly bad medical news. Who am I being? And that's tremendously important to me. It means more than than anything else. It because it that that speaks of who is beyond this body. And um, so that was it was. It was, um, I appreciated the opportunity to be present to who I am in the midst of receiving bad news. Um, so that was my miracle for today. And speaking of miracles, the other day we were at the Heart and Soul, and uh, somewhere in the conversation, it came up that. Gabriella's sister Sonia has uh, has taken on the practice of a blessing jar. So she has a jar and she writes her writes the blessings of the day and puts them in the jar and watches the jar filled. And we got excited and we said, We need a blessing jar. And somebody else in the office says, I've got a blessing jar for you. And apparently she did, but we weren't expecting <laughs> this size <jar. laughs> So this is our blessing jar, and uh, and we're very excited to fill it. It's very simple. We just take pieces of paper and uh, and at the end of the day we write down our blessings for the day. Um, it's a beautiful practice. I highly encourage it. Um, and it creates a real nice physical uh, experience of uh, of just how blessed we are. So, it's a blessing. I love you, baby. Thank you.